For this video, I'd like to continue talking about multiplying complex numbers graphically. And specifically, I'd like to look at two more example problems. And in these example problems, we'll be given a complex number z, and we will multiply it by some other complex number. And to interpret complex multiplication, I've pasted in the formula for two complex numbers z1 and z2, both written in polar form. And when we multiply these together, the, their product is equal to the product of their magnitudes multiplied by their new direction, where the angle of this new complex number, this product, is the sum of the angles of the two complex numbers. And remember, these angles are measured from the positive real axes. So the general idea when multiplying two complex numbers is that we multiply their magnitudes, their distance from the origin, and we add their angles. So let's start by determining the angle and the magnitude for z. And if we draw a line to the origin, notice that we are on this first ring, meaning that the magnitude is one. And this angle here, well, it's bigger than 90 degrees because that would take us to the imaginary axis here, this positive axis. And it looks like this line splits this plane in half between the imaginary axis and the positive direction and the real axis and the negative direction. So we have 90 degrees plus roughly 45 degrees. So this angle should be about 135 degrees. And again, its magnitude is one. And we're going to multiply by 3i, which would be right here. And again, we can draw a line to the origin and count the rings. We can see this has a magnitude of 3. And since it's straight up on this imaginary axis, we know that its angle is 90 degrees. So when we multiply these together, we will add their angles. So the angle we are looking for is about 135 degrees plus 90 degrees. And if we add 100, that's 235, and then subtract 10 brings us to 225. And the magnitude of this new complex number, which we can write as 3i times z, its magnitude, which we can put in absolute values, would be 3 times 1, which is just 3. So it will be on this third ring and it will have an angle of 225. Now an angle of 180 would bring us all the way to the negative real number axes. Let's draw this here, it gets a little bit messy. And we need to go another 45 degrees, so roughly about there. This would be a 225 degree angle. And again, we need to go three rungs out so that its magnitude is three. And it looks like choice B is the correct option here. It has a magnitude of three and an angle of 225. Since again, we are adding the two angles, 90 plus 135 gives us 225, and we multiply their magnitudes, their distance from the origin. So one times three, which brings us out to rung number three. And let's do one more example problem. And for this one, we are multiplying the complex number z by root three plus i. And for this one, we can plot it, or we can figure out its angle and its magnitude. So let's do the magnitude first. We can do root three plus i and put it in absolute value bars. And we know that the formula for the magnitude of a complex number is the square root of the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared. And in this one, we get the real part squared. So root three squared is just three and one squared is one. We get the square root of four, which we know is two. So this complex number has a magnitude of two and we can compute its angle if we want. It's the inverse tangent of the imaginary part divided by the real part. And after computing this in our calculator and make sure we're in degree mode, we get 30 degrees. So this looks to be a point in the first quadrant that 
is on the second rung and 30 degrees above the real axis right here. It has a length of two and this angle is 30 degrees. Now the complex number Z, we can draw a line to that. Notice it has a magnitude of two as well, but this angle, we could count it going all the way around or we could count it in the negative direction and we'll approximate. It looks like this is about negative 60 degrees or right about there. And remember when multiplying two complex numbers graphically, we will multiply their magnitudes, meaning that the magnitude of our new complex number would just be two times two, which is four. And the angle of our new complex number would be the sum of the two angles, 30 plus negative 60, which would be negative 30. So we need to find which point would be on the fourth rung and would be at an angle of negative 30. And we can see that the fourth rung is right here and this line would be about a negative 30 degree angle. So this complex number C would have a magnitude of four, it's on the fourth rung here, and this angle is roughly negative 30 degrees. So choice C looks to be the correct answer here.